previously on Final Fantasy VII Remake. God damn. Jeez. Holy fuck, I feel like garbage, even though technically it wasn't my fault. It was Shinra. I didn't do anything. And now back to my childhood. Hello! Sneako B. Back with some more Final Fantasy VII Remake. When we last left off, we completed the bomb mission and fucking sent the entire sector into a living hell. Holy mother of God. But it turned out it was actually Shinra that uh, destroyed the reactor, which you guys did tell me um, it was sort of hinted at in the original game. Kind of like what I was thinking. Um, it uh, never really cl is truly clarified. Like it was actually more of a fan theory that uh, Shinra did it like and it wasn't actually us. But uh, in Final Fantasy VII Remake, they basically confirmed it. So, wow. Very, very cool. I actually don't mind it. I, actually, I, I know some people might think it is like, well, it, it was more of a gray area before, you know. But I think at the same time, it, it didn't make much sense for us to to do that, right? If we were wanting to disable the reactor, we didn't need, we wouldn't need to destroy, like, and like have it blow up like that, have a nuclear meltdown. You could disable it, you know? You don't need to destroy half the fucking city. So I, I feel like just in terms of the characters themselves and where their, their heads are at, you know, I think this, this works out a bit better and makes a little more sense. And, but still at least that gray area, because yes, we, weren't really responsible for it but now we think we are so now that sort of li that's led us to that that the precipice of of morality right what, what do i what do i do with myself is it was that worth it i, I gotta tell myself it was because otherwise how can i keep how can i continue to go on living and i feel really bad for jessica because she is definitely the one who's beating herself up the most about this seeing as she's the one who made the bomb to begin with but holy shit guys we're two episodes into this and i already feel like i've just going through this game is like it's it's been a fucking experience like Jesus, man, I just like I'm feeling so many feelings that I like never felt before playing a game. I don't think I even felt this. I didn't play this, felt this when I first played the original Final Fantasy VII. I, I think playing through this, like I always look back at Final Fantasy VII with so many fond memories. When I went to play through with one of my best friends, I relearned again like, oh man, this game is so fucking amazing. And he got to experience it for the first time. And and I knew that this game was important. I knew this game was, it meant a lot to me, but I think this just really solidified it for me. Like just playing through this and hearing the music and seeing the characters interact with each other and seeing everything look as beautiful as it does. Just like, it's just like, ha, oh, like you just, just what just pure emotion pure reaction just just like hitting you and you just don't even know like your brain's like i don't even know what to make of this all i could do is break down i just i can't wait to see more where this goes I, this next part is oh my god <laughs> i'm already like oh, oh. <laughs> i do i feel like i'm i feel like i'm nine years old again though because i mean when you first played through the game it was it was awe inducing you know it might not it might be hard to believe but back then it was like jesus christ look at the graphics of these game of this game Look at the environments. This is nuts, you know? And I definitely feel that with this one. Like, man, I just can't get over it. Look, I just can't get over this fucking skybox. It's so cool. And it really gives some scope to this game. Just be able to look around like this. None of that fixed camera angle shit from the, the old game. Uh, but anyway, last episode, uh, Katsu Imagi a Magician said, <laughs> Announcement, be on the lookout for avalanche terrorists. Migar Citizen. Wow, they sound dangerous. What do you think, spiky blonde hair guy with a giant dangerous sword? Sephiroth, ghosts, ah! Storms off swing so wildly. Yeah, me too. Damn it, Mert. I told you to lay low. Come on, guys, for the planet. Avalanche! Jesse Biggs and Wedge. Yeah! What an elusive group. <laughs> it really is, to be honest. This was, like, so hilarious. Barrett's on the fucking train, like... Basically, the only person saying good shit about Avalanche is like, well, clearly, Avalanche is doing this for the planet. I wouldn't know anything about them. Not like I know them or anything, but just saying, I think they're real strong guys trying to help everybody out. And fuck anybody that says shit about them, I will kill them. Oh, my gut art. Yeah, we don't stand out at all. Not at all. To be fair, though, it was like that in the original game, too. I'm glad they kept that same level of hilarity in there. Like, why is nobody figuring out it's us? We're right here. Hell, even before when the soldiers attacked me, they didn't really, like, attack me because I looked weird. It was because I pulled my sword out. And I was standing next to a girl, and they probably thought the, they probably thought Aerith was in trouble. Like I was harassing her. But anyway, Katsu, thank you so much for your hilarious insight. And it is for that reason you are comment of the day. By the way, I guess I should point out.
apparently that Marie looking girl on the train was actually voiced by uh uh An's voice actress from Persona 5 which leads me to believe that she must be a significant NPC or something I I, I actually noticed when I went back to edit it that she I did see her say something and it had question mark next to it and they don't usually do that unless it's somebody who's who's got a name right it's not Shinra manager like the other guy was this is someone who's gonna have a name that we're gonna find out if that's the case that's pretty cool it's pretty cool that you would like run into them have like no interaction but just hear them and see them on a train and i don't know maybe there'll be a quest or something involved with them i'll be curious to see what uh exactly happens with them but i did like their design I, it, it was it was very much marie like marie with a little bit of shiki mixed in there so she isn't as mopey as Marie was or spouting a bunch of poetic bullshit by the way I guess also mentioned apparently it was stated in an interview that there was really not a point in keeping Sephiroth a, a, Sephiroth a secret anymore because everyone kind of knows who he is by this point right because I mean Cloud and Sephiroth have both been in a ton of separate media so it's not really a point in keeping a secret here so they decided they, they really wanted to expand on his character and show more about him than was shown in the original game which is good I actually like that then that's a that's a smart way to do it because you're right you can't really do you can't really put Sephiroth back under the, the cloth again and try to make him a mystery character of like, who's this guy? I mean, we all know who he is. We all, even if you haven't played Final Fantasy VII, you've probably seen what Sephiroth looks like, right? He just pops out of nowhere and something else. And while I did really like that in the original, like I did love that mystery because there was the real buildup of like, like Shinra is the bad guy for like all of Midgar. And then suddenly you start to think otherwise at the end of it, right? With and then you start to think, oh, this other guy, Sephiroth, might be the real enemy. But yeah, they're definitely uh, hidden hard with Sephiroth. They have revealed quite a few things that I'm surprised that they've revealed at this point, though. And which makes me wonder if they're going to start maybe adding some new things, to things that weren't in the original game in regards to, like, some of those big plot points, you know? How far outside the original canon will they go, you know? We'll have to wait to see, though. Because honestly, in the original game, a lot of stuff about what Cloud was having a flashback about, I mean... Actually, no. Yeah, you didn't experience any of that. None of that was in Midgar. You don't know anything about Clyde's past in Midgar. So I'll be curious to see if they're going to start showing that more often here. I mean, I can't ex imagine they would try to explain any like all of it or any of it, honestly, in this version, this part of the game. Because, I mean, this is just going to be the Midgar section, you know? They got to still save some for later games. Also, you guys told me apparently Aerith is voiced by another Let's Player. Strange Rebel Gaming. I actually saw her little tweet where she taught, where she like reacted to her own voice acting. That's super cool. Damn. God, I'm like trying to imagine it like if I, if, if I somehow managed to get like a voice role in Final Fantasy 7 remake, like, oh my God, I would, I would break down. <laughs> I'd be like, I could die now. That's it. My, my, my goal is completed. It's all downhill from here. <laughs> all right, guys. Whew, the music, I'm, I'm actually kind of glad the, the emotional music stopped. That that song was a little too much for me, all right? It was a little, when I was over here, I was playing the, the main theme, just like, oh my God. The music in this game so far is just godlike. It's, I, it's, I cannot give them enough props for how good it sounds. Um, oh. Warning, gate broken, fiends in area. Exercise caution. So we're calling them? Check it out. Not my problem. Fiends? So they called him in uh, Final Fantasy X, actually. You don't want to mess with the monsters in here. Move along now. Wait a minute. Is that... Was that Joe Swanson's voice actor? And just where do you think you're going? Uh. <laughs> it sounds like Joe Swanson! Where, where do you... His, uh, that distinctive deep voice. Huh? You don't want to mess with the monsters in here. Move along now. If it's not him, it's a very good impression of him. You don't want him. I, I can't. I can't do it. I can't do Joe Swanson. But he's he's got a very distinctive, distinctive bass voice to it. Yeah, I can't. I can't even. I can't even do it. It's just the tone of his voice is very, very recognizable. Public security should know who did it. So. So you'll interrupt them while they're working? Come on, it's one little. <gasps> oh my God! It just hit me. I I know who these these two guards are. I remember they, what they say in the original. Will they say the same funny thing in, the, in this one? Let's see what happens. Um, excuse me. Uh, due to an emergency, <laughs> entry into this area is prohibited. Sorry for the inconvenience. You call that a warning? <laughs> yes! Yeah. Yes, sir! Yeah! <laughs> they did! I in love them for emergency it! emergency regulations, entry into this area is prohibited. Please, leave at once. Still too nice! Yes, yes. Talk dirty to me more, Daddy. This area is off limits. Turn around and leave at once. If you don't, I'll have no choice but to use force. Now you're getting the hang of it. <laughs> oh 
my god. I love it. I love it so much, man. Thank you. Thank you for putting that in there. Oh my god. That's what they say in the original. But it's actually even better here. The original, you, you talk to... So the new recruit will say that. He'll, he'll say it weenie-like. And the other guy's like, put more effort into it. And then the other guy will say like, get the fuck away from the fence. I swear to God, you will die. And then the little weenie dude's like, dude, that was so awesome. But this time it was just him. To, it was just the weenie dude slowly getting more and more courage. And I was just like, yeah, fuck yeah. Oh my God. Am I ready? I don't know if I'm, I don't know if I'm, uh, I'm ready for this. I don't know if my heart's ready for this. Don't let, don't let them avalanche. Bleed the pl planet dry. We're like these posting these posters, eco warriors, what we're called. That's very interesting. Wow. <sighs> Sector seven slums. God, I love the setting of this game so much. <gasps> oh my God. <laughs> Oh my god, all this neon. These assholes need to shut the hell up. Can't turn the camera. Damn. I need to Damn. I'm hey girl, you wanna hang out? So I thought the sound over there said cloud. <laughs> it's closed. Uh, oh, they're all watching the TV. Are they gonna turn their reactor off? Why did people blow it up? How realistic this is. Probably like a big family in a way, you know? Living in this little hovel. They're all going to gather around the TV and watching the poor national events happening. Now you're trapped, witch. There's a, a, the amount of NPC dialogue is staggering and amazing. Shinra. What do you know? That ain't half bad. I'll make a grease monkey out of you yet. Thanks. I've always dreamed of opening up my own shop so I can look after my parents, you know? <laughs> well, a man can always dream, can he? Is that, uh... Is that Matthew Mercer or, or Troy Baker? It sounded like him. Oh God. Oh God, the music. <gasps> I see her. I see her. <laughs> no, I'm gonna go over here. <laughs> no, I don't want her to see me. TV kids see me like this. I'm all emotional shit. Return to pace. Go see your wafu. Fine. Oh, I'm drinking tea for so bad. Uh, Ryan! <laughs> we'll do body shots with Tifa, please! Oh, please, God! Damn it, why can't it be so fucking hot and sexy like Cloud? Oh, my God. How did I beat Barrett over here? Arlene. <laughs> Daddy, you're home! That's right, Angel, I am. Back. <laughs> Aww. Have you been a good girl? Yeah, I've been helping Tifa. <laughs> oh, you did, did you? Well, well. <laughs> I always love Barrett's relationship with his daughter. You made it. <laughs> Where'd you get that? I can't remember the last time I saw a real one. <laughs> huh? <sighs> How sweet. When did you get so thoughtful? A guy can change. Has been five years. Damn, Cloud, you're so huh? smooth. So fucking smooth. <laughs> I need to talk to Barrett. Right. Come on in. Pinball machines. <laughs> Eggs and chips. The Mako place blew up. Everyone on TV's talking about it. Don't you worry about all that silliness. Daddy's here and he's not going anywhere tonight. Now turn that thing off and let's get you to bed, huh? Look at the tiny Marlene is. Hi, Marlene. How you doing? She can still be scared of, scared of me. Uh. Yep. Hey, what the hell do you think you're doing scaring my daughter like that? Oh, I'm sorry, fuck. Daddy says never 
never talk to strangers. <laughs> Damn, Barrett. That's right, honey. I do say that. What a good girl you are remembering daddy's lessons. <laughs> you know what else good girls do? They go to bed on time. Come on. But I'm not tired. I want to talk some more, daddy. Mm, all right. But just this once. <sighs> Uh, so then, what can I get you? My money. I'm still waiting on it. Uh, right. God, Tifa looks so fucking good too. God damn it! We should talk outside. <sighs> um, Daddy, did the people who died all return to the planet? Of course. Let that be a lesson to you. Damn, man. Just want to say hi to your cute little, your cute little daughter. But no, you gotta be an asshole about it. When you want to talk to a little kid, don't go give another professional killer eye. <laughs> it's just how I act around everybody. I'm sorry. Fuck. What's that? I see an icon. My God, we have the fucking jukebox playing. Oh my God, Tifa's theme added. Use the jukebox to play your favorite motherfucking tunes. You mean literally all of them? <laughs> you can have more songs in jukebox by collecting music discs, which can be found on the field where their presence is marked with a music icon. Oh my God, yes. Oh my God, Tifa's theme. It's got her shoes. Oh my god. Damn, this game's such a fucking love letter to Final Fantasy 7. Look at this shit. This isn't this. Look at this pinball machine. Gold time pinball. Volcano bombs. Hey, baby cakes. Before we get on to money, there's an empty apartment in a place just down the road. It's nothing fancy, but I was thinking you could stay there for now. The landlady's a big friend of the cause, so you wouldn't even have to pay rent. Sound good? Sure does. Thanks. <laughs> Follow me then. Is that over a tutorial in? How was it up on the plate? It was chaotic. Sorry for dragging you into all this. Exploded, it was wow, wrong of me to put shake. you in danger it like that. Crazy. I promise I, I won't do it again. News. Dangerous part of the job. Don't worry about Damn, me. Damn, Tifa's voice is perfect. I'll try not to. Always happy to help stick it to Shinra. Hmm. Not good at all. I don't know so, what it is, you make nice with everyone? So Much as I could, all things considered. Maybe not enough for them. The good. Where? You had me worried. You're not exactly a people person. <laughs> I'll give you that. I saw Sector 8 on the news. It was like a war zone. The news is just another Shinra mouthpiece. I'll spread whatever lies Shinra tells him to. Okay, like a little so, motel over here. It wasn't that bad? It was. No, it was pretty bad. <laughs> right. Cool. This has definitely expanded quite a bit. Where's, where's the tutorial in? Oh, is that it over there? It's got to have a second floor to it. If it's anything like the original. Oh, I think yeah, it is. That's right. That's it right there. That's the building right there. Fucking see it. And here we are. Good old Stargazer Heights. You're on the second floor. Room 201 here is where I sleep. Don't have time for much else. What with 7th Heaven and all. <laughs> Not even time to decorate. Come stop by whenever you want, baby cakes. Hell yeah. Go in there, Cloud. Get Tifa's underpants like you did the last game. Here's your room, 202. Don't worry, I already told the landlady about you. You did? Yes? <laughs> oh, I mean, I told her I had a friend looking for a place to stay. Was that too much? No, it's fine. And this? That one's, uh... Know what? It's getting late. I'll introduce you tomorrow. 
Okay, this is all pretty new here. Uh, it's a little bare, but should be enough to get you through the night. If you want anything else, we can always there get it. There is one thing. My money. You guys owe me 2000 remember? I do. And we'd love to settle up, especially since this was your first job for us, but... Yeah. That's it? Sorry. We spent the rest preparing for the mission. That really is it. But not for long. I'm collecting money for filters tomorrow, so I can pay you after. <sighs> and you're sure about that? Of course, as long as you help, that is. Wait, then I'd have to pay you for that, too. Never mind. No, 2000's enough. That's what we agreed on, so that'll be the price. With what you gave me, that leaves 1500 You're the best. That lip syncing is really I'll on see point. see bright and early at the bar, then. Thanks again for everything. Oh. Sleep tight. I love you, Tifa. I love Aerith, too, though. I love them both. And I'm starting to love Jesse now, too. God. Oh, I can finally take this thing off. Oh, God. Oh. Seriously, this thing weighs like 300 pounds. Oh, shit. Ninja Cloud. Oh. Guess it's time for introductions. Oh. Noisy neighbors. What song is this? Oh my god, is this what I... Oh my god, it's the fucking creepy theme! Oh my god! <laughs> I love this theme. It's so good. I thought it was, st I thought it was Cloud's stomach like making a noise, but no, it's, it sounds coming from the room next door. Fuck, man. What the hell? Hey, shut the hell up over there. I'm trying to sleep. Don't make a lot of noise the, next to the guy with the fucking giant sword. I see a ladder there. Am I gonna... Hey, you okay in there? Oh. Coming in. Ah! Ow! What in the whoa? Oh God! Reunion. Oh. What are you doing to Marco? This is his apartment. He's got a few problems, but he's not a bad guy. Fuck the you. The lady asked me to check on him now and then. He needs to die. Sure he's okay. Can I ask you to do the same? Sure. Shit. Damn, Cloud. Wow, interesting. I don't think you encountered one of those guys um, in the original town here. You run to the first one, I think, later on. Wow, interesting. <laughs> Damn, Cloud will straight fucking straight kill that guy. So he's getting some glimpses into the to, to the future as well. So that was also what was happening earlier when he saw that explosion, right? Uh, that was, I think, potentially a glimpse into the future. <laughs> Duh. Oh, this music, man, it's so good. Wow, that was that was wild. Hey, you all right, man? I'm sorry. Class, like, yeah, no, I, I, I don't even know what to say to this guy. Got a ladder over here. Ooh, with a with a chest. 
Is that a different chest? A tough to Phoenix down. It is a weirdly cylindrical chest. Gotta, gotta, I gotta tell you guys. I was going back to that last episode. I was like, oh my god. I, when I saw that chest, I was like, fuck me, man. Did I miss it? <laughs> I kept look, walking around it. I was staring at it. I was too busy looking at everything else around the damn chest and looking directly in front of me, which is why I missed it. I was like, fuck, man. <laughs> if there was anything super good in it. Oh, man. I love this theme so much. Oh, my God. Crazy hair lady. Well, now, you must be Cloud. Who the hell are you? I'm Marl, your landlady. So how'd you like the place? They you read up from you Power Rangers. High? I've been around. I'll bet. No matter. All kinds come through with all kinds of reasons. If you ever need Hi, a event, I'll lend you mine. Can be about anything. Even Tifa. Ooh. What's she to you? The granddaughter I never had. And if you hurt her, I'll take it out of your hide. You hear me? Loud and clear. Good. Now you'd best get a move on to Seventh Heaven. She's got a head start on you and then some. Oh, interesting. Life in the slums. Okay. Seems like... Okay, this is all new right now. This is all brand new. Looks like we're not getting the, the, the next main scene, scene until a little bit later. Uh... You know, Tifa's probably wondering why you haven't joined her yet. Hi, doggy. Uh, let me have a little look around, though, first. The watch is saying they're gonna step up their game. How? Ain't they shorthanded? Absolutely. But with the bomb... Guys, everyone got a gun in this town? For candidates. What the? No you seem... You seem significant in some way. Little school child. Is he... What's that on his shoulder? Is it a scarf or something? I can't talk to you. Is that who Wedge mentioned? The merchant? That sword's nasty. Damn! Just let my dude. This here street behind me is Scrap Boulevard. It's crawling with monsters. Watch, make sure they don't get out. Hmm. Okay. Wait, does he actually read out the signs every time he? Warning. Gate broke. He does. Fiends in area. Exercise caution. No reason to check it out. Not my problem. I like that he does that. It's like everything is voice acted in this. Searching for candidates. Uh, this guy's doing some fucking crunches. Fiend slain this month. <laughs> Nothing. None. Doing good. Oh my God, is this this is it, right? This is totally it. This is tutorial place. Let me in. Let me in! I can't go inside. Fuck. Hey, give me this. Stronger, faster, damn. Look at everybody. Everybody's working the fuck out. Little girl, you're about to fall the shit off. You better watch out. I can't go upstairs. <laughs> yeah, good for you. Uh, I think this is. Something has that look. Oh, it totally is. It's got the weapon shop underneath it. Oh, I just can't go in there yet. They're all they're all closed off. Probably until I've continued the story a bit. Wow, yeah, they've they really expanded Sector Seven here. It's a lot of shit going on here. Can I see you? Stupid kid games are stupid. You're stupid. No, you are. You call out using a sword? I wish I could fucking just whip my sword out. Like, I'll show you. Yeah. There's a lot more kids here, too. Jesus. These two just bumped into each other. Like, oh, boom. Ah, punk. He needs to die. How big is this? Wow. Look at this. Yeah, this, uh, this is much bigger. There's even a place behind uh, Seventh Heaven there. <gasps> Mr. Kitty! <gasps> Guys! I found the Kitty Brigade! Oh my god. Thank, thank fuck. Thank fuck, guys. I thought the Kitty Brigade was gone for good after five, um, three houses was over. But thank god, they just moved over to Final Fantasy VII Remake. Look at them. They all stacked up like little dominoes up here. Like staircases. They all rolled around. I, I see you, Mr. Kitty. Hello. Hello, Mr. Kitty. I take it all in a different form. No longer busy leave. But Cloud Strife. 
Giant sword man extraordinaire. Wafu extraordinaire. That's right. I've been getting, doing pretty well for myself. All right, Mr. Kitty. That's right. I get all the bitches. Cloud gets all the bitches. Even Jesse. Even Jesse, who wasn't really that big of a Wafu in the original game. She is this time. Damn, she's thirstier than any of the girls here. She's ready to boop. Yeah. Oh, I didn't, even, I didn't even have to make the sound that time. You respond to me. I'm proud of you, Mr. Kitty. We've come a long way. In fact, we're really starting to communicate and understand each other on a spiritual level. Anyway, there's also a, there's a lot of cats in this town. <laughs> there's a lot of cats in this town. Someone's helping to feed all these cats. Isn't that right, Mr. Kitty? Yeah. Oh, oh my God. Look at you. Hello, hello. <laughs> well, they did a good job. They, they do a mocap on these things. <laughs> they get a mocap on a cat. Mocat? That's called a pun, Mr. Kitty. This is the part where you laugh. Screw you, Mr. Kitty. God damn it. Why would I think that you suddenly develop a sense of humor when I'm playing through my favorite game ever, huh? I don't know why I sounded like that for a second. That was weird. I just kind of popped out. Uh, it was probably Sephiroth's fault. It's always his fault. You guys are still watching the TV. Jesus, guys. Oh, God. It's the Shinra guy. Not ever. Right. Once the trains are running, we'll head to the office and do whatever we can to help. That's how we can fight back against terrorism. Huzzah! Yeah, fuck those guys. Thank God they don't know it was... We were standing right next to him on that bus. Or, I mean, train. And that was pretty obvious. Yeah, there are a lot of cats here. It's a sad day. Hey, baby. Morning. Hey. Just so you know. I want some eggs and chips. Let's get down to business, shall we? These water filters won't replace themselves. Although the next batch probably could, if Jessie put her mind to it. Most every home in the <laughs> has one. Folks love them because they practically eliminate the rotten egg smell. Honestly, they make us more money than this place. And it's easy money, too. Uh, <laughs> the old ones and get I don't want it. I don't want what? it, Tifa. I don't want Give me a break. I'm not a salesman. I'm a soldier. I won't do this. So no stupid and boring. Yeah. What do you say? Please? Oh, I can't say no to that fucking face, Tifa. Uh, let's get this over with. Great. And while we're at it, I'll give you the grand tour. <gasps> Show me the tutorial. Tutorial in. Can I look around this place a bit more? No. I can't run. Go ahead and keep whatever we collect. Seeing as you didn't bring any luggage, I'm guessing there's stuff you need to buy. Thanks. And don't worry. We'll pay you the difference there's after. So many people who just Barrett's out making his rounds too. Living. As long as don't I get it all today. All <laughs> That's a lot of, a lot of NPC dialogue scrolling on the side. Oh, it's a new song playing? Is on top left? Oh, it is. It's actually it, it's only what song is playing even in other Here to change out your water. In other shops. Cool. Tifa baby, how you doing? Been waiting for you to wait. Who's he? Yeah, who's he? Cloud's in charge of collections. He'll take your money. Sounds like a pretty sweet gig. If you ever need someone to fill in, I'm your man. In your dreams, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> if you wish, bitch. Class, like, fuck you. <laughs> Suppose I could take a look. Fuck you, item shop guy. Just items and material. No weapons. Sack of shit. Fucking death for that. <gasps> ah! Sorry. Uh, I'll take this. I'll take all of them. You only got one, but I'll take it. Just taking a, da a, a dance song. The prelude. It's a dance remix. Remix? Uh. I have 28 potions already? Fuck! I mean, it's fine. I'm using a lot of them. Take a few antidotes, too. Uh, take like four. Revive. Okay. Healing materia. Fire materia. Ice materia. Lightning materia. And the deadly dodge materia. Um, probably should get a, some ice. Yeah, we'll go for lightning too. Cause then we're gonna get it, collect you some money, cause I'm uh, definitely gonna need some. Thanks. If you're ever in the market for anything else, drop on by. Especially if Teep is with you. Okay. And let us know when your filter next needs changing. 
Yeah, now we got all this voice acting. Listen to all the guys hit on Tifa in a creepy way. Yay. This is definitely not the one I was thinking of. It's, yeah, it's the item shop, not the... What the, what the goddamn tutorial place? All the items you can want are straight from the place. He's a regular. Stock up here and he might throw in a freebie or two. For you, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Well, you could try being a little nicer. To get free shit? Not my style. <laughs> Our next stop is Stargazer Heights. Landlady's a client. Just met her. Then you know what to expect. Remember, she's a good friend of Avalanche, so be nice. Please. Always nice. Just imagine Stop busting my balls, Tifa. My husband decided God, Tifa is so fucking jacked. Look at her legs. Seriously, her legs are chiseled. Mmm, yeah. For flapjacks. Mm. Hey, Marl. Got some filters for you. Tifa, my dear, dear girl. Oh, what's he doing? Yeah. <laughs> working? Be nice. <laughs> Cloud's helping me with collections. You better take care of her. I'm pretty Your good hair's weird. Myself, you know. That I do. Still, better him than you. No charm, no wit. Big sword. Tiny no dick! <laughs> I've got skills. Be nice. I'm doing my best. I'm trying. She's so weird. Glum. Are you getting enough sleep? A good long rest will cure anything. I almost killed one of your tenants last night. Lesson for life on the ground floor. Am I right? That you are. Now, your money. Yeah, Thanks, give it. Marl. You take care of yourself. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Which isn't much. Ha ha. Ah. Take a break at a rest spot. Recovers all your HP and MP. Rest spots includes your own bed, blue benches next to vending machines, and other locations. Ooh. Blue benches? Cool. Just chill out on a bench. Get fucked up. Get some of that chocobo juice. Mmm. <laughs> okay. We're going to get nice little icons on the map. Nice. Dude, I want to go to the tutorial place. She helped get me set up back in the day. I want to go to the tutorial place. I want to see Cloud come over to the... Teach some kids how to limit break and murder each other. <laughs> kids are like, yeah, I'm about to lose. All right, kid, get over there and use your fucking braver attack. He's like, okay. And he's fucking just straight slice that kid's head off. It's like, yeah. That was the moment in, in Final Fantasy VII OG when I knew I was like, I love this game. <laughs> I, I love Cloud. That's the moment he, got, he stops being like, like acting like an asshole and just starts being awesome. He's just like, yeah, I'm going to teach this kid how to become a god. You been here a while now five years give or take but never mind that we've got to get you your money last stop is the weapon store i like tifa's big shoes big red shoes very hey if it isn't tifa hey girl for the filter oh this is totally it this is it yeah hey, that last filter didn't do shit we're so sorry about that Hopefully this one will work better. Dude, yeah. Save your excuses and get out. All right. If you could just settle your bill, we'll be on our way. The hell? You charging me for your busted ass goods? My associate handles payment disputes. Think you can mosey up in here and have it your way? <gasps> mosey? Pretty please. <laughs> Did somebody say mosey? <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Seeing as we're done with our rounds and you've got a small fortune now, why not take a gander at the weapons? Dude, Tifa could kick your ass, man. When will I don't even need to be here. The rest? Before we open up tonight, it'll be a while yet, so... What do you want to do? Don't really know. In that case, I've got a suggestion. Want to hear it? If you're serious about becoming a merc, then you're going to need to start making connections. It's not what you know, but who you know, you know? Hmm. Another lesson for life on the ground floor. Yep. Connections get you jobs. Jobs build your rep. And more rep gets you better connections. How do I start? Hmm. Why not help out the neighborhood watch? They're mostly volunteers, but you'll get to know people. Yeah, okay. Didn't see anybody at the office, so let's head up top. <laughs> yes. Oh, oh, fuck yes. Here we go. It's up those stairs. I want two kids to be fighting each other. I want Cloud to be like, yeah, get him, get him. Uh, okay. Can I shop with you? 
I'm gonna set. I'm gonna set this guy on fucking fire. Here we go. <laughs> huh? I ain't got nothing for a punk ass bitch like you. Punk ass bitch. What you say, b b bitch? Damn it. It's where I used to buy weapons though. That's where I would buy a new gun for Barrett. I got nothing for a bitch ass like you. Okay, fine. But anyway, I guess I'll have to. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm so excited. Alright, Tifa, show it to me. Is there gonna be a chest that talks to me in here? Didn't know you were holding down the fort. Huh? Oh hey, Cloud. Looking to join the Oh, it's just you guys. That depends. What does this neighborhood watch do? Um lots of stuff really but our top priority is taking care of any beasts that wander into town that and teaching the locals how to defend themselves like they say the only one who will look out for you is you cloud's a great fighter but only we know that if no one knows him no one will hire him thought if he joined the watch he could get his name out there that would work for everybody truth be told we could really use your help we can't pay you in gill but we'll work something out for example, aha, uh -huh. what about your sword? I could mod it for you. No thanks. It's fine just the way it is. <laughs> what? You some kind of purist? I know I'd never pass up a chance to improve my gear. Come on. This is why you do shit though, Biggs. <laughs> but I love the sword. I've got a very emotional attachment to it. Now enhance your weapons. Spend SP skill points to unlock special skills infused in weapons. <gasps> Nani? Uh, ooh. Upgrading to you can enhance weapons and unlock weapon skills through upgrade weapons. First, select the character whose weapon you'd like to upgrade. Press X to select Cloud. The number to the right of each weapon is the max SP value, a value which increases as the character levels up. Ooh. Uh, oh. Okay, that's where we get the new skills here, like the focus thrust. Uh, significantly increase the stagger. Yeah. Next, select the weapon you'd like to upgrade. Press next to select the Buster Sword. The number next to it is the amount of SP you can spend on that weapon. Whoa! What the fuck? Ah! Holy shit! Oh my god! We're getting into like getting into like a a sphere grid. Unlock weapon skills and enhance your weapons. Weapon skills can be unlocked using SP skill points. Every weapon has its own SP pool. Uh, select weapons and skill to unlock. Cool. Okay. Increases attack power. Good. Magic attack power. Also good. Max HP. Enhanced Punisher. Punisher mode. Strong attack damage. 5% boost. Increased damage dealt by strong attacks in Punisher mode. Uh, I think raw power is just all around good. I think I'll go with uh, Enhanced Punisher. That sounds pretty cool. Punisher is pretty damn fun. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie. Okay. Um, that's all I can do now. The Buster Core Sword. Growth Materia encased within the Buster Sword. Use Cloud skill points to unlock skills and enhance the weapon's capabilities. So once I've gotten these, then like this unlocks... Uh, oh, it just, like unlocks another slot on the weapon, basically? Cool. That's pretty neat. This is all very new. Um, you can automate SP allocation by selecting a weapon and pressing triangle to change your weapon upgrade settings. Select the set settings that best accommodate your battle strategy. <laughs> My strategy is not to think about it. Let the computer handle it. No. Uh, Lying skills has all kind of beneficial effects, such as boosting weapon stats and increasing material slots. When a character levels up, the, the max SP of their equipped weapon increases. That weapon also levels up. The higher the weapon level, the more types of weapon skills will become available. Very neat. Okay, so it's this focus thrust is basically something that only the Buster Sword has. Is that the same for Braver then, or is Braver tied to just Cloud himself? I wonder. Okay, great sayings. Yeah, I'll do it manually. Okay, cool. I like it. All set. Needless to say, you'll have to try it out to appreciate the difference. Thanks. <laughs> we'll do you one better. Spread the word to everyone who'll listen about the new Merc in town. Between him and Wedge, there isn't anyone they don't know. I'll march through the streets singing your praises, even on an empty stomach. So, where are these monsters? Scrap Boulevard. Good hunting. Hey, Cloud, I'll come with. Yes. No, I've got this. But you don't know the way, do you? We don't. No. <laughs> sure thing. I know these streets better than anyone. I want to kick ass with Tifa. Yeah. Oh, here we go. 
girl, what you at? You level 10? Cool. Are you have uh, weapon skills? Uh, I believe you do. Yes, yeah, sorry. Leather gloves. Dive kick. Oh, fuck yeah. Boom. Leap into the air and unleash a powerful kick to the face. Woo! I wonder, is this is just increasing the power of the weapon? Like, if I so I ha if I have this weapon equipped, I'll, I'll get 100 max, 100 uh, HP. Yeah, that's probably how this works. But that kind of means if you change the weapon, then you start from scratch again, right? Uh, seemingly? I guess it depends how quickly you can earn that back again. Speed attribute, huh? Or what speed does in this? I guess just for dodging? Max MP plus five. That's actually pretty good. <laughs> MP is very, uh, very low in this, so... More MP is definitely a good thing. Uh, damn, she actually had more attack power than I... Oh my god, she does! She's 37 attack power. Fuck me. She even kicked my ass. <laughs> uh, she's got a yellow one on. What is that? Chakra material. Allows you to restore your own HP and cure poison with chakra. The uh, amount is relative to damage received, and more is restored the lower your HP. Oh, that's cool. I guess it doesn't maybe does it not cost any magic or anything. Okay, uh, go ahead and give her a different uh, skill. I guess I give her HP up if I want to, but I think she's probably give her ice or lightning. Let's go with let's go with ice. Actually, no, let's go with lightning because if anything, it's gonna be guys weak to lightning in this next area, right? Scrap area, metal guys. Oh yeah, the Huntsman. So who was this guy? An elite trooper belonging to Shinra's public security division. Said to be the most dangerous of all Shinra's troopers. He serves as a unit commander in the Sector 8 town area. Yeah, he was, he was tough. What's he got on his... Is that Ifrit on his shield? Uh, no, I think it's something else. I think he's, hold, he's like holding like... It's like holding some item. That's his thing. Thunder is guaranteed to hit. Good to know. It's like never misses. Oh, we can see your music collection here too. In just I can buy some weapons. Ah, oh, there aren't. There's no kids in here fighting each other. Damn it! This isn't just a cover. We really do want to keep the neighborhood safe. We grew up here, after all. Man, this is this here. This is definitely the room because this is the box is right here. The kids would fight right up here, and class would be like, "Yeah, fuck them up." Damn it! I was hoping they brought that back. Well, I don't know. Maybe they'll do it later. Just so you know, the watch relies on residents' donations for funding. Won't be anyone who doesn't know about the new Merc when we're through. Working for the Neighborhood Watch is the best kind of cover. You can go all over town, meet all kinds of people, and no one bats an eye. Let me have a look at your sword when you get back, huh? Never touch my sword again. Is there no chest in here that talks to me? I really, I really would have thought they would have put a chest over here. I mean, maybe it wouldn't talk to me, but that'd be, still be pretty great. <laughs> I'm not even joking about that, guys. The chest talks to you. He's like, hey there, come on, steal my items, mister. Yee! He talks to you just like that chest that talked to us earlier. Boulevard is out west. We're starting past the barricades, supposed to keep the monsters out. Anyway, we should prepare just in case. Can I, uh, not, can I buy from me now yet? Huh? I ain't got nothing for Fuck you, dude. Like you. Fine, I guess, okay. No new weapons. I got you. To do it later. All right, I think we're good to go, though. If any harm comes to her. Shut up. I'll harm you. I can see why monsters would feel right at home. Damn! Look at this. I didn't even look up today. Whoa. Damn! The sky. Daytime sky. So cool. <laughs> God, said, look, look at the scope of this. This shit's just fucking. All right, incredible. Okay. Okay. Again, it's still this is all new stuff. All right, this is not in the original game at all. Uh, okay. What's this uh map look like? Okay, I got a little roundish area here. Oh, air sealed off. Woo! I see you. Ice materia. Glad I bought that in the shop then. Oh, yeah. It's over. Yeah, I recognize the enemy, too. Gorger. Okay, 
Okay, we are switching to fucking Whoa. Tifa. So that's what a soldier looks like in action. This was just a warm up. <laughs> I'll bet. Let's keep at it. Okay. Those enemies were in the original game as well, which I'm happy to see. Funny little scriggly dudes that uh, usually slowed you down. Don't overdo it. Oh, here we go. <laughs> yeah. Tifa strengths. Tifa, Tifa excels at close range combat and uses combos to deal a lot of damage. Press square to execute a normal attack or hold it down to deliver a single powerful blow. Umbrella strength can be used to enhance her unique ability as well as increase the number of attacks that can be chained together. Oh my God, what? Fucking what? All set. Oh yeah. Oh my God. Damn it. It means they're lasting long enough. They're dying too fast. I need to find some tankier guys. What the hell are these things? A were rat Uh, his unique abilities. Uh, as TV, you can press triangle to execute the martial technique whirling uppercut. To access more advanced techniques, you must use unbridled strength to increase your chi level. At level two, you will execute an omni strike. At level three, rise and fall. Uh, but what? Upon utilizing an advanced technique, you will expend key and drop one level. Uh, Tifa's martial arts are effective against staggered enemies and will increase the damage bonus applied during the state. Oh my god, it's so sick. So hers just like a regular ability, yeah. Dive kick chakra. Oh yeah, I got I got to change your shortcuts. Cool. All right, let me uh Change your battle settings here. I'm just going to put heal always on X for everybody. Uh, okay, we got thunder. Oh, she has somersault as her limit. Oh, actually, yeah, I put chak chakra on uh, on X for her. It just heals herself, but I set her for the leader for the time being. I'll do more shit with her. You're good at this. Charging in like it was nothing. You too. It's a little surprising. Well, I've been here five years now. If you don't look out for yourself, no one else will. By the way... That one's gonna be on the test. This a lesson? Gotta learn if you're gonna stick around. Okay, let's <laughs> wrap this up. Aw, look at her cute little pose, her little idle pose. That was cute, like her hand behind her back. It's cute. All right, T, let's go. Oh, get these corners, piece of shit. See ya, woo! All right, I think that might be the last. Damn, fuck those things up. We won't stay gone for long. Of course not. Even so, folks will be grateful for the peace and quiet in the meantime. A win's a win, you know. True. Is the counter in the village gonna go up every time Trust we kill me, kill these things? Right. Let's go check in with Biggs and Wedge. That was easy. Woo, chest. Antidote. I'll take it. Okay. Uh, except for that one area over here, which was locked off. I think we saw most of everything. Oh, we got we actually got boxes over here, which uh, <laughs> just break in a hilarious fashion. Anything? No, no, no. Okay. It's a little tiny area. All good though. Got all the stuff. You shut your face, all right? He's like a Backstreet Boy backup dancer, bitch. Cloud, no, no shut up, T-Far. I stay out of this. I'm gonna cut this guy in half. Like cut this guy in the fucking half. Can I do it right here from... Where, where can I attack from? Ugh. Fucking get this guy. Ugh. Ugh. Cut right through this gate. Cut him in half. Son of a god, Back already? Damn right. Every last one, too. Now the slum should be safe. You guys are machines. Good job. Meanwhile, we told everyone we could about you. So I heard. I've got to ask, though. What did you tell them? <laughs> it's all right. All you got to do is keep up. <laughs> what did you say? What did you say about me? How's the sword, by the way? Good. It's all right. I like it better the other way, though. Glad to hear it. Seems like the perfect fit for you. Yeah. We've been through a lot. Oh, 
You okay? <sighs> I'm fine. I have headaches a lot. Been meaning to ask. After you left the village. Can he Advil? It's a long story. I've got time. Why don't you tell me all about it while we try to wrestle up some more work for you? That sounds great. I'll come too. This is great. Oh, no, you won't. What? Run along now, you two. Uh, Sorry, go on. maybe uh. next time. <laughs> she has wedge got. Think about it for a second. They haven't seen each other in years. You'd be a third wheel. Uh. <sighs> hey, before we get back to it, why don't you check out the weapon? Oh, finally. No need. Come on, the dealer's probably heard all about you by now. Might treat you better. I don't know about that. He's a sack of shit. He deserves to you die. Someone got rid of all the monsters on Scrap no. Dude, no way. They kill those little bug things? That take like two hits to die? Wow, what the fuck? <laughs> no better way to keep you and your family safe. Holy <laughs> shit. Look at this bad boy right here. I'm gonna take that. To find the perfect weapon for there's you a mark that'll take on any monster. You the man? Word spreads fast around here. What if I am? Sorry about before. I get antsy when business is slow. <sighs> man in your line of work needs weapons, no? Why not try that one on for size? I need bigger blades. Yours on the house. Badass like you rocking my weapons is good advertising. Think about it. Fine. Iron blade. Oh, if you want to take a look at something else. Just a look. What else you got? Uh, Iron Bangle Star Bracelet. Very, very expensive. Got the Power Wrist Guards. Bulletproof Vest. Increased Vitality by 5%. Earrings. Magic by 5%. Spirit by 5%. Talisman. Revival Earrings. Enter battle with auto life stats effect. Breaks upon you. So I was like, I was like, like what? <laughs> it, it's permanent. Lasts forever. Ah, exactly. Okay. Uh, let's go with. Should I do that though? No, nah, actually, I think I should save up because getting this ex getting extra slots is definitely more important. I think accessories are good, but you gotta get the extra slots so you can equip more materia and get more spells and more abilities. Right now, Tiva just has the bronze bangle, uh, and I think I think. Well, actually, I don't. I don't know what Barrett has off the top of my head because he didn't have. We we didn't have the uh, materia system. Uh, set up yet when he was in my party. Oh, okay. I don't want shit. Don't be a stranger. You can now acquire weapon skills. Once you achieve maximum proficiency in a weapon's ability, holy shit. Oh my god, cloud going in. That ability becomes your own. You can use it without the weapon equipped. Ooh. Now the, note that the Buster Sword ability is at maximum proficiency from the beginning. Oh, I see. Cool. So I can use the focus strike with anything else. Cool. Since you've got yourself a new weapon, let's see if we can't put it to good use. Come on. Let's go chat up Weimer. Who? The guy who tracks all the requests that come to the watch. You never know. Could toss some work your way. Where's he at? Oh, he should be back at the office by now. Okay, let's have a, have a little looksy doodle. Iron Blade. Its attack is weaker. It's because I haven't upgraded a... Oh, wow, it's magic attack, though. It's a lot higher. Triple Slash. Oh, I see. Yeah, so it... So, yeah, Focus Thrust Proficiency. I see. So, I'm already maxed out. Strike three or more enemies, dealing more damage with each blow. That's cool. Great... Grace or cast from carefully selected iron ore. Reslot. Yeah, cool. I'm glad it gets me that ability. Oh, hey, interesting. We do have the linked slots. See this one? These slots aren't linked together, but these are. Cool. So that is carried over. So already has S 10 SP with it. I haven't even done anything yet. Another thing on here. Uh, HP up. I think I'll put ice on. I wonder if the proficiency comes from using the ability, or is it just from using the, the weapon in general, maybe? Yeah, you just start with 10, right off the bat. You know, I haven't even done anything. So I get defense plus five, max HP plus 150, damn. Physical damage reduction, 10% when guarding. Punisher mode, counter damage, 5% uh, boost. Okay, cool. Okay, I'll definitely take that 150 max HP. 
And uh, more defense is always good. All right, cool. Very neat. <laughs> I don't need this buster sword anymore. <laughs> But I like it doesn't actually seem to make the, like, it looks like you could, if you wanted to, uh, keep upgrading the Buster Sword, you know, you, like, you don't have to, it's not like it's totally useless now. Like, each weapon has its own unique, like, skill tree, which is cool. Um, okay. Hey, you just opened up shop in the area, didn't you? Oh, here we go. Searching for candidates. Guy staying on a slot or something. His little spot. Oh, hey there, Tifa. You need a helping hand? Nice beard, man. Actually, I wanted to introduce you to an old friend of mine. This is Cloud. He's a merc. Merc. Uh, you don't say. Well, we're always on the lookout. Give me things to kill. To help us deal with the bigger critters. I'll take on anything, for the right price. That is. Experienced and cocky, huh? If it's a challenge you want, I might have a few good ones. Your clients can fill you in on the details. Prove yourself at these jobs, and I'll see if I can't find you some more. Thanks. Uh, odd jobs. Uh, use the touchpad to access the map and R2 to open quests. And there you can check current job requests. You can tackle multiple requests at once. The more jobs you take on, the more your fame and repute grow among the local residents. Ooh, really? Side quests in my Midgar? <laughs> yeah, the original Midgar was very very linear. There's like no side quests, <laughs> like at all. Candidate detected. Performing physical analysis. What in the hell? Sizable weapon. Excellent cardiovascular health and impressive lung capacity. Perfectly balanced muscle. Quit looking at me weird weapon. like that, kid. An optimal candidate. My name is Chadley. I'm is that a monocle? Sinra's research and development division. I hope you'll be interested in helping me with my research. Chadley! Please accept this as a down. Chadley, Chadley! I would like you to set that assessed materia in your equipment and use it to gather intelligence in battle. This data will help me to develop new types of materia. Oh. I'm not interested in working for Shinra. You should know that I work actively to undermine Shinra's efforts. I'm sure you of all people can appreciate the tremendous power of materia, as well as how it might be wielded against your corporate enemies. And if you later decide that I am not worthy of your trust, you can do what you do best. Kill me. I will hold you to that. Excellent. <laughs> so we, so we say? What? As long as you deem fit. Once you've completed your task, please return and report to me. Battle Intel. When you complete Battle Intel missions for Chadley, it will develop new kinds of material. Ooh, you can view Battle Intel missions from Battle Intel on the main menu. Completing missions will, while respective quests are active, grant additional rewards. Combat analyzer obtained. Cool. Oh, zero out of one. Monster bio part one. Extreme conditions in which certain monsters thrive provide them with unique curative abilities. My aim is to harness this skill in the form of materia. Uh, get auto cure materia? What? Assess two enemies. Okay. Oh, I see. It's like a separate thing from the this thing here. So it's like the scan ability, basically? Oh, I know. So much for using the ice ability. Uh, I guess we'll just replace this with this. Um. Oh, cool. If you level up, you actually get access all access on all targets. It actually doesn't take that much to level up either. I have to use assess. It's like the scan ability, I guess. Oh, icons on my map. Okay. Uh, we've got quests to do, so I guess we'll go do that. Or go wow, grab some other quests. Hey there, Tifa. Welcome back. And you, the new Merc in town, looking for work, right? Merc for work. It's my slogan. In that case, maybe you could do something about the Doom Rats. Them and their rare rat buddies have been tearing Doom up Doom Rats for food and whatnot. Got into the store and made one hell of a mess. Let me tell you. Doom Rat. Oh, you think that's funny, do you? <laughs> Don't lie. I saw you crack a smile. Well, do the job and you can laugh it up for all I care. Anyway, they're probably nesting in the outskirts. Now I've heard a were rat in pain will call its friends for help. And the whole rat pack will come running just rat like pack. that. Okay. Those rats are as good as dead. Do Doom rat. It's a very dramatic name for a rat. Yeah, reveal strengths and weaknesses. Huh? Let's go into that square. The nice thing about this, though, like, if, if you don't manage to get a ability on the shortcut, unlike Kingdom Hearts, where, like, it's almost impossible to go into a menu mid-fight, you know, at least in a mid-fight where that's actually tough, and pick out a, a spell... It's, I mean, they slow down the fight in this, making it totally doable. 
which I love. I fucking love that. Uh, okay. So the rats are over here, I guess. Nuisance in the factory. This guy sell stuff over here? Oh shit, the honey bee in? Fuck yeah. Hit, hit me up, man. Yo, what up? Hello, hello. Oh, what do we have here? I'm guessing you're that merc I've heard so much about. You're not here to shop, are you? People were right. You look like you can handle yourself. So some drakes have made themselves at home in the abandoned Talliger factory. Can't have that kind of trouble around here. My regulars will do anything to get their hands on the scrap in there. And if they run into those drakes, they could get hurt. I'll handle it. Drakes. Much obliged, sir. What about the doom rats? The old Talliger factory and talk to Narjan. He's the watchman guarding the entrance. Good luck. I'm counting on you, my friend. <laughs> I'm more worried about the doom rats. Uh, one item? Oh, what is the down... The downward arrow? I mean, it's cheaper here? He's only got one of these in stock. Might as well buy it. Yeah, I think it's probably... It means it's like... It's cheaper here. It's only 30. Not sure how much that normally is, but... I think it was saying that... Yeah, it was like... It had a stock of a single item. There's like... I saw it in the other shop, too, when they were selling that music. He saw, like, a number next to it. Like, I have a single buy item, basically. A special, perhaps. <laughs> it's like a bloodstain. Ah, oh, shit. All right. Damn it, Tifa, you go first. Get some Tifa booty shots. These are the doom rats. <laughs> Look at these little things. Not sure if these were in the original or not. Won't be tough. Where rat? Of not. Good luck. Wait. I got it. Scan him. Oh wait, I gotta get. Uh. Here we go. Assess. Where rat? Large rats appear in the slums in search for food. Wary and alert. They target. They always move in packs. Tactical data not available. Why not? I just scanned you for that. Oh, neat. Hop between them like that. Bum, bum. Oh, weakness to ice. Cool. Da, 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 da. Billy's dust cloud call to arms. Yeah. Ow, that stop it. Enough. That's enough. Oh, fucking rats up. Oh, level the shit up. I don't see any doom rats around. Hmm. What do you think? Should we wait? You know, this might be a waste of time. Let's head back to the store and touch base for now. Only regular rats. Ain't no doom rats in here. Okay, I'm kind of curious. Just from that fight, like, how did that affect my weapon proficiency? Did it at all? Not at all. It must be the more you use it. Because I didn't use it there, I, I didn't get anything. Actually, I leveled up, so that means my weapon must have gone up a little bit, right? Oh, that actually affects all your weapons, even if it's not equipped. Hmm. Good to know. That's actually nice. So, so that means it's not like... If you keep... Because otherwise, if you did keep leveling up, eventually you have a limit to the number of levels you go up, meaning that if, you know, you didn't equip the right weapon at the right time, you would, wouldn't be... Well, you wouldn't get the, the potential out of all of them. Let's go with this one. Yeah, it would basically mean that you'd have to keep one weapon... To get the most out of everything, you'd have to keep one weapon equipped the entire game. If only one weapon got experience points at a time when you leveled up. Uh, all right, we'll go with match power with the Buster Sword. Get the markers back again. Did they come back? Doom rats are back. No? Mm. Uh. Ah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> It'd be serious. Ah. Oh. Oh, no. Baby, what's wrong? No. Oh, okay. I was kind of hoping she could help me find my friends. I know someone who can help you. This guy right here. Oh, man. Yeah, I can kill your okay. friends. Is that what you want? You all about them. They have long arms and legs, and they're a little skinny. They like places where there's food. Is it Mr. And Kitty? Is it the Kitty Brigade? And small spaces. I already found them. Oh, yeah. And they're all cats. Yep. I'm looking for cats. They're friendly, so if you call them, they'll come running. All three of them. Find my friends, please. All right, I will find Mr. Kitty. Well, there was a shit ton of them over here, so. Mr. Kitty, friendship is magic. They're all over here, look. There's a billion of them. Looking for three cats, okay. I guess these cats don't count as the three cats. 
There are cats everywhere. They don't show up on the map, I guess, at all. So I just got to keep an eye for an icon of her. A specific Mr. Kitty. What about you? <gasps> yes. How did you know this is the cat? Oh, hello, Mr. Kitty. <laughs> Mr. Kitty, come back. Damn it. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. They're all going to be white with the collar. I remember there was one over here. <laughs> yes, hello. I hear him, Tifa. I know. Yes, hello there. Hello. <laughs> Going after cats? God, what have I been reduced to? I'm a soldier, god damn it! I'm cool! No, you're not, Clap. Let's not kid ourselves. Shut up, I'm super cool. Super, super cool, alright? Yeah, get out of here! I'm... Yo, what up? Nice beats, man. Hey, man, check it out. Dude! Pretty sweet, ain't it? Hell yeah, bro! You like it? You it? What? Hip hop day chocobo? Oh, snap. Here we go. Here we go now. Here we go. Gonna go, go, go now. Woo! Oh, my God. They turned the Chocobo theme into a hip-hop song. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, uh. It's fuck fire. Yeah, man. You just like it, dude. You just like no the Chocobos like to rhyme. Oh. Uh, can I go in here? No. So first, give his point. <laughs> what the hell is this kid doing? It's a pipe. It's literally everywhere. I want it? More pipe? God dang it! Kids are using Mako again, right? Damn Mako junkies! Step back. Shut up. Factory's off limits. Drakes have been spotted. That's what I'm here for, sunglasses man. Wait a minute, Tifa? Don't tell me you're here to take care of those things. Are you? Out of my way, scrub. Case, be my guest. We believe there's at least two groups lurking somewhere inside the factory. Find and cull them all. Cull them. All right, cool. Where are they at? Drakes. It's like dragons or something? I know we're off the bat, which minimizes those. Won't take long. Oh god, Gorger! Hang back. Oh, god dang it, I gotta build up my ACB before I can assess. Large insects found throughout the slums. They always move in swarms, scavenging for food, scraps, and preying on whatever crosses their path, whether it be small animal or human. <laughs> Let's go. Alright, it's in with the uh, triple slash. Damn some damage. Enough. Alright, Tifa, your turn. God, the music's so good. That should be enough intel for the kid. Okay. Return to Chadley. Uh, no, let's, let's finish this first. Oh, that's nice. You can just, just jump me straight back there. That is good. Okay, well, I didn't want to... Okay, I did my ability. Did, did that affect it now? Yes, it did. 10%. So I have to do it 10 times in order to be able to, to learn it permanently. Serious kind of big. I see a chest over there. But how do I get it? Piece of cake. Piece of cake. Yes. Uh. Keep it together. Let me hear it. My turn. My turn. Do, 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 do. Come on. Yeah. What the hell? Get off the wall, you dickhead. I can't get you when you're up there. Ah, we were taking some damage there. Oh, shortcut? <laughs> like I have to hold it. Class, like, he has to think before he pulls the lever down. Ooh. Rest stop. Tina, fire materia. I'm just gonna pop a squat here. Uh, 
man, spread that shit up. Clout. This heals me? Yeah, fuck yeah. I like it. Now I'm ready. Now I'm motivated. Still can't open this door, though. Unless I can slash it open. There's a chest on that side now. That's the side I came in from. Don't hold back. Uh oh. You got Target located. Bring it. <laughs> Lesser Drake. You come back here, mister. Oh, God. Can't see. Too bad. Uh, spell weaving airborne lizards that live in the slums. They're usually seen flying closer to the ground than their larger brethren. Hitting them with wind attacks makes them several will stagger, while landing magic attacks on them will bring them to the ground for a short time. So we, to wind. I have no wind, though. Just have to stick to kicking their ass with regular shit. Oh, man, they're fucking me up. Gotcha. Come at me. Ugh. You come down here, mister. Boom. Need a light. Sorry. This song is so good. Target eliminated. Okay. Another little shortcut. Is this something? It is. Oh, secret area. I need a key card or something. Uh oh. Got another one. All right, Tifa, you're up. Let's go. Oh man, Tifa. You're not good with these guys that move all that around a lot. Okay, let's get power up. Do it again. More power. Ah. Ah, yeah. That's Terry for beginners. Oh. Uh, no, I don't think I've done yet. Material leveled up. Cool. What, what leveled up? I, I know it said I kind of missed though. Um. Oh, chakra did. Wow. Okay. That for, it levels up fast. So, like, AP level of a hundred. That's super fast. Keep opening the gates. Hey, here we go. Two vials of sedative. Is that for like sadness and shit? Quells one's fury. Yep. Or if I could actually, can I use that now? And like, no, nah, I can't use it. Oh wait, and we have adrenaline too. One for rises one stupor. I don't think unless can you use it out of battle. It doesn't mean though I might be able to use it in battle because before you could use it, and you can actually give yourself. Uh, fury or sadness just as it could heal the other it could also uh, add it if you're already a normal stat you're dead let's see quell one's fury Ugh. uh yep it did it made it made cloud sad just go away after the fight ends Oh, yeah. That's that. It does. Cool. Worked up a good sweat. Okay. Good thing to keep in mind. I'm going to bet it works like the other one where your limit break goes up faster with Fury, but you take more damage and goes up slower. Be goes up slower with Sadness, but you take less damage. Oh, we got a lot of shit in there. Oh, a tough a Phoenix down, too. Here we go. Two antidotes. What up, Chattington? Got your shit. Where's the goods? Wow. You were the first to gather the data I requested. Here is the rest of your payment. <laughs> you see, it's a little monocle. Develop new materia. Would you like to see it? Give it to me. It's accumulate battle intel. Share with Chadley. We'll develop new material that become available for purchase. Damn, you have to purchase it. Managed to collect a lot of battle intel. Chadley may have special missions for you. Ooh. Ask Chadley to reset weapon upgrades. Though there is a cost, weapons can be reset as many times as you like. The SP used for the original upgrade will be refunded. Why would I want to do that, though? I mean, I, I, eventually you're going to want to try to get as, all the upgrades you can. Um, just want to start all over. Auto cure. 
Um, cast here on severely injured allies up to a set number of times. We want to activate if the character does not have enough ATB and MP, MP or the player is controlling the character. Ah, okay. Good for like other party members if you're not controlling them. Up to three times per battle. Get other cess materia if I want. I'll take one of these. Uh, you can hold to that for now. I plan to develop more materia in the future. Together, we can harness enough power to take down Shinra. I'll keep repairing more battle intel reports, which I hope you will assist me in completing. Okay. More battle intel. Guess they're somewhere. That went well. Could be you found your calling. Eh. Uh, was alright, I guess. Think of each job as an opportunity. Not to make money, but to build connections. It's not what you know, but who. <laughs> you remembered. Not a patient teacher. Oh. <laughs> Maybe not so patient next time. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, Barrett should have finished collecting his share of the money by now. So what do you want to do? Head back to the bar? Ooh. Whoa, oh, God. Stagger effect. What the fuck? Oh, God. Oh, God. Aim to develop a new elemental material based on analysis of how fire, ice, and magic, lightning magic affect their target. Hit enemies vulnerable to fire, ice, or... Oh, okay. One for each element. Oh, it's already... It's actually already counted things I've done up to this point. Good. That's very nice. Okay, wind materia. Neat. Oh, the only one I haven't done is ice, and I actually ran to some guys earlier who were weak to that. Staggerfoot greatly can be greatly advantageous in battle. Development support material capable of effectively triggering more field data needed. Use unique abilities on staggered enemies to charge the ATB gauge 10 times. And stagger 15 enemy types. Ah, I see. They get a little icon next to it if you scan them. And you see what they drop and stuff. It doesn't mean, though, eventually that uh, you won't be able to actually get everybody, because... I don't think I'll be able to rescan the Scorpion Sentinel. You clearly get steel material in this as well. All right, still a cat missing too. Mr. Kitty, you over here anywhere? <gasps> New music. You're just getting started, aren't you, Mark? In that case, you'll need to be prepared for anything. What you got? <gasps> Bear steam! It's like a Western version of it. Or like a wet. Interesting. I don't know if I like it as much as the other, the original, to be honest. Some of the other one was just so. Dun, 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 dun. It's funny. I didn't even realize when I thought about last episode, they, they played that theme when Barrett was talking to that dude. I didn't realize this hometown theme actually is his theme that they play back at. Uh, near the start of the game, Barrett's, what they call Barrett's theme. It's actually the same thing, but it's slower, and it never occurred to me until I thought about it in that, in that scene. What the fuck is on the ground there? Is it just trash? Yeah. Oh. Oh, that's not the cat I'm looking for. Mr. Kitty. I wonder if this is actually his theme, though. Is, like, is this really it? Is this the theme that's going to play, like, just later on? Because this sounds, like, really different. And some of these ones sound like remixes of, like, old themes. Not like what these other ones have been, which have been, like, these orchestral ones. I, I don't know. This is, like, I, I can't even hear Bear's theme in there, honestly. I actually think these are. I think these are containing a dance song, a jazzy song. A blue. I don't think these are, like a hip-hop song these are like remixes just for the jukebox so these aren't but not the actual official versions of these songs for like like we're gonna hear in the th like the the main themes when like this wasn't the tifa's theme we heard in the jukebox wasn't the tifa's theme that we just heard uh earlier when we came in so i think it's just like the jukebox themes which is good and if that's the case that's that's great i i, that, I like that where the fuck is this cat I'm pulling my inner cure you. Something's wrong. Let's check it out. Uh oh. It's a soldier over there. Wait, find the cat. Got something to say? Can I hire you to babysit my kids sometime? What the fuck? Are you kidding me? You want to hire the guy with the big sword to babysit your kid? What? What? Yeah, this guy. I look perfect for that. Yeah. Okay, I think this. I think this. Uh. Whole side business is getting a little out of hand. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with the people in this town? 
I just realized Clash shakes his head just like he does when he reacts in the other one. When he comes up to something he can't do something with, he, sh he puts his arms out like that and shakes his head. I love it. Even little things like that. Oh. Hey, what are you doing in there? I'm trying to get a cat to come out. It snatched one of my pastries and scurried in there. Oh. Will you be a deer and lend me a hand? Ah, oh, damn it. Mr. Kitty, hey. Oh, God. Mr. Kitty. Mr. Kitty. There you are. Ah. This sucks. <laughs> oh, screw this. You guard the chest. <laughs> oh my god, that was amazing. I loved that so much. I loved her class fucking reaction. It was amazing. Screw this. This, this sucks. <laughs> oh my god, I'm already loving this game so much. <laughs> Alright, find your dumb cats, little girl. What? They ran away? So... Never gonna see them again? Oh. I thought they came back to- Oh, they're right there! You guys! You came back! Kitty the gate! scary man was chasing them. <laughs> Thank you! Fuck you, kitties! Damn it! Got Maiden's kiss, too! Yay! That cures the toad thing. I knew you'd be able to find them all. I may should be an MP restored, too. Screw you, Mr. Kitty! I don't like you anyway. I don't want to be your friend anyway. Okay, did the r rats come? Any doom rats? Doom rat. Gotta make a oh yeah. Doom rat. <laughs> Holy fuck, that's a tanky ass rat. Best do it right. A variant of a were rat, larger and more intelligent than its genetic relative. These creatures do not fear humans and will seek revenge on those who harm their vermin brethren. Hey, sir, my damage will make them susceptible to staggering. Oh, fuck. All right. But time to bring my A game. Here we go. Let's go. Do, 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 do. Ow. Ow. Come at me. Oh. I see you. Ow. Give me your best shot. Fuck you, huh? Oh yeah! Stagger that shit. Now's our chance. Strike hard and fast. I've got this. Okay, get out of my way. Won't hit the stagger guy. That's it. Let's finish this. Oh, I can uh do my. A little break, but first. Ow. In pain. Ah. Ah. Thank you. Was never in doubt. Balance of friendship. Uh, okay. Yes, this time we do want to go back. The Doom Rats have been slain. <laughs> now peace shall return to this tranquil village. Finally managed to get those Doom Rats, huh? Thanks, guys. You're the greatest. We're so dead in here. Doom! Might have to close up shop for good. Hey, got an idea. Hear me out. If the guy who took care of the town's rat problem told everybody where he liked to shop, no. What do you say? No. I'll make it worth your while, of course. Give you some incentive. Talk you up to Weimer and my customers, and anybody else who listen. 
You'll be swimming in work before you know it. Yeah, sure. Whatever. <laughs> okay, then. That's what I like to hear. Seventh Heaven, the new Merc in town in my little store. I can see it now. We're gonna clean up. Some new shit. High potions cheap. Get three of them. Fuck it, dirt. Uh, I'm actually good. Uh, cleansing materia. Uh, poisona, asuna, and resist. Nice. That's actually exactly the same as the original game too. Uh, yeah, I'll take the take one of those. Get some, get get some more armor. Ooh, these things are pretty nasty compared to this. Look how tiny these are. A certain shopkeeper told me you paid him a visit. Thanks for helping him out. Just so happens there's another job I'd like to offer you. Now that I know you can handle yourself in a fight. You've got a real killer on the loose, you see. A rabid catch dog. Maybe you've heard people talking about it. Shinra Mutt gone feral. Uh oh. Last sighting was in Scrap Boulevard. Think you're up to it? No. I'll handle it. You're a lifesaver. Better than the fucking else going after cats. Chance. Go get him, bud. Oh, he's out here. Got rid of those drakes in the factory, did you? What a relief. I can't wait to give my regulars the good news. You're the real deal, all right. Keep it up, and I can see you going far as a merc in this town. I've worked with my fair share over the years, so believe me when I say that I know what I'm talking about. Anyway, you're needed over at the pillar. Apparently another flying bastard stirring up trouble. Bet you can't get enough of this, huh? Well... <laughs> well... No, I this guess. sucks. <laughs> if you're good at something. Might as well make it your living. May not know you. I know a man who's found his calling when I see one. Keep at it. I switch out my stock every so often, so drop by when you're in the neighborhood, huh? I'll bet a lot of people are talking about you right now. There's this amazing merc who can handle anything. Nothing I've done around here has been all that special, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you want more of a challenge, huh? Hmm. This is kind of fun, actually. I'm enjoying this. It's a little side quest. Building up rapport with the town's people. Oh, so I'm going to go back. I'm going to go where these guys are guarding. Welcome. I'm always getting in new stuff to keep up with the latest trends. Okay. What do you got? Anything, anything cool? Uh, <laughs> the latest trends like these high potions. <laughs> yeah, great. Fucking great. Always a pleasure. Oh, so this is why I, I wasn't getting like a ton of money from battles. Might want to buy some extra supplies first. Get a lot of your money from doing these mercenary missions. You're the talk of the town, Merc. Been hearing from all over how you've been kicking ass and helping folks out. That's cool. I like how they even remark on it. That's pretty nice. That's a little addition. Um. Oh, interesting. Develop various of develop make the most of materia, but it, you get worse stats. Uh. In that case, I'll take an iron bangle, and then we'll give her uh bulletproof vest too. More speed for Tifa. Okay, defense plus one and vitality plus one. Cool. So I guess this is kind of a way to get the your teammates to cure you, I guess. Oh, I don't know. Will they cure you normally anyway? When I activate the character does not have enough ATB or the pet player is controlling the character. I mean, I'm assuming that that's what this is for. It's like getting your party, member to, party members to cure you. I guess it means they won't cure you normally. Maybe. Because it still costs MP and stuff. Um, and we'll go ahead and put that on. Well, all right, guys. This seems like a good place to end things here for now. This is fun. I'm, I'm actually really enjoying, like, going out and doing these, like, side things and, uh, and the townspeople to like me and and stuff <laughs> and just hearing clouds and tifa's reactions to everything um damn it's fun and the the battle system is a lot of fun too god ah uh, this game looks so good it plays so good alert uh, i might got a little long today it's a little hard to stop playing right it's it's very addictive it's very fun uh but anyway guys i hope you all enjoyed this episode as much as i did uh if you did please leave a like and a favorite it really does help me out and subscribe for not rave gumpy penguin for the slp where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. And oh, hey, look, we are up to 29 feet slain. All right. Wow. They, they had zero up to this point. You guys have literally killed nothing until I show up in this town. You guys were nothing without me. <laughs> guys couldn't do anything before I arrived. But anyway, guys, as always, till next time, stay classy.